I had the chance to speak with Darren Robell, a sports business analyst who worked for ESPN and currently works for the Action News Network. I was able to dive in and see what led Northwestern into developing this facility and what their goals behind this investment were. This facility, that facility, what they've built is tr trying to just be best in class in, in something. And it's interesting. I asked whether or not the facility would help bring in top-rated recruits and if that was even the main goal behind building this facility. If you look at, if you believe in the stars, which he, by the way, doesn't, I mean, the star system is very weird. Like, I would say that, that the reason they, as a skeptic, that the reason they didn't get, they weren't five stars is because they were looking at Northwestern. You know, I, I think it works both ways. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and and a guy who might not be as good is looking at Clemson, and Clemson is looking at him, and he, he's a five star. Yeah. So you know, it's very subjective. So that's since Rovell felt that recruiting wasn't the sole indicator of the facility's success, we discussed what Northwestern sports has to show on a competitive level to illustrate the facility's effectiveness. I mean, I think they're just trying to compete, but I think they're competing against, I mean, Stanford's a, a bigger, uh, Stanford and Michigan are, you know, they're not trying to go up against the Ohio States, um, you know, but I think that sports certainly has, you know, paid off for Northwestern. I mean, Rovell I, went on to talk about the importance of Pat Fitzgerald to the construction of this facility as a whole. You don't, you don't build a ship without the premise of captain and... I think he was, he was clearly, at least I thought was, he was going to be there. In 2013, Pat Fitzgerald fielded an offer from the University of Michigan, which he refused to even interview for. Rovell feels that the Northwestern board thinks of Pat as a homer and as a crucial leader to the football revolution currently taking place. Without commitment from the head coach, this whole plan falls apart.